musical composer Georgia Stitt is getting ready to showcase her work in Los Angeles. With a little help from her friends, Stitt's upcoming 88's cabaret gig will include songs off her debut CD, This Ordinary Thursday. Ryan Black is producing the evening and he tells me that um, he's lined up a bunch of LA's greatest performers, Broadway performers and pop singers and all kinds of different people, TV personalities, to sing um, one song after another of mine. Broadway's Putnam County Spelling Bee star, Jesse Tyler Ferguson, stopped by Republic Restaurant in West Hollywood to rehearse for the show. By the boy who introduced my heart to heaven. He was the smartest boy in the whole sixth grade, and I couldn't believe I found him. Though his teeth were in braces and his doctors were afraid, I just wanted to be around. As a composer living in Los Angeles, Stitt has tried staying busy crafting two new musicals recently showcased in the Festival of New American Musicals in Southern California. I had two pieces developed there. The Water is a musical that I've been writing about a town that survived the flood, and we had a, a, concert, a table read of that, which will lead to a concert presentation in October. And then David Kirschenbaum and I are writing a new review called Sing Me a Happy Song, and we did that at a college here. Um, had two performances of it, worked with a bunch of college age students and sort of because we had those performances we wrote the opening number, we wrote the closing number, so that's been great. She's also thrown her hat into the reality TV ring, working as the vocal coach on NBC's competition Grease, You're the One That I Want. Kathleen Marshall called me and asked me to do it. Uh, I, I think she was relieved to know that there was a Broadway person in LA because they were insisting that she hire a local vocal coach. In, um, in Los Angeles. And so she asked for me and I went through the interview process. David Chase and I were the two vocal coaches on that show. Uh, and, and that actually, I, I made a great connection with the music supervisor on that show, which has led to other jobs in reality TV. Not what I thought my original calling was gonna be, but um, I did another show, I did something called Clash of the Choirs last Christmas. I was the assistant music director on that. And I apparently I'm about to do another one this fall. but. I do make a living as a vocal coach and, and a lot of the work that I do theatrically lends itself to working with singers of, of any style who are trying to learn how to perform a song. So it's not what I thought I was going to be doing but it does, uh, it does allow me the opportunity to write because the bills are being paid doing the TV shows. With composing remaining close to her heart, she went into the studio and put together her own albums. I just wanted to put in the world what I do, what it is that I do, because these shows that I've been writing have been in development for a very long time. And um, even though they're moving forward and good things are happening with them, it just takes forever to get a show up open. And I thought, I, in the meantime, I would like people to think of me as a composer and know what it is that I'm writing in my living room all the time. Helping bring Stitt's songs to life will be Broadway actress Julie Garnier. <laughs> I do writing here in Los Angeles and then I go to New York and, and hawk everything that I've written and then come back out here and, and hibernate and write some more and then go sell it again. Stitt will get a chance to present her songs to LA audiences on July 7th. West Hollywood, I'm James Sims for BroadwayWorld.com.